I'm joined by Stefan Kramer, who is the Safsky Science Advisor, and he's been studying uranium in the Karoo. Stefan, there's been a big breakthrough from an anti-uranium perspective in the Karoo. W what actually happened? Yeah, just uh, on July 1, we received the surprise notice that the, the uranium mining developers, it's uh, an Australian company called Peninsula Energy, and their local counterpart, a small BE company called Lukisa Joint Venture, they actually withdrew their entire application for uranium mining in the Karoo. That's a major breakthrough because they had been applying for mining rights for 30 years over 750,000 hectares of central Karoo farmlands and that sent a shiver down the spine of many people in the Karoo because this uranium mining is a very damaging industry which disrupts uh, much of the agriculture and the economy of the Karoo. Now going all the way back to, to, to Germany where, where, where um, it, it went into uranium mining with mm -hmm. angst and mm -hmm. to, to produce nuclear weapons. Yeah. What scientific studies did, sh did, did you see there that, that, that showed that uranium mining wasn't that good? Yeah, we come from Germany and really have seen the impact of uranium mining and have started uh, a very comprehensive study of what really is the impact. The Russian occupants after Second World War W moved into eastern Germany, into two provinces in eastern Germany because that was the most valuable uranium resources at the time to rush up and uh, produce nuclear weapons as the Americans had started that kind of race. And um, the health records of an entire province are very detailed and very sophisticated. We have access to that and the Department of nuclear protection in Germany has evaluated this data. Some 500,000 people have been affected by radiation because they worked in the mines or they worked in the, factor, the uranium factories. They were vis neighbors of these factories and out of these 500,000, 5,000 actually developed active lung cancer as a direct result of uranium mining. That's what keeps us uh, shouting about new, uh, uranium mining and its impacts. So we know that that uranium mining is definitely has effects. So, so that's that's kind of why your 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 strong push against it in South Africa. But there's also a bigger picture around uh, South Africa's 9.6 gigawatt nuclear build program, and and Safsky is taking the government to court over that. What is the whole the, the issue? You're going after uranium mining, and you're going after nuclear. Why is it so important for Safsky and for, for you as a science advisor to, to, to really make the dangers known? We believe that uh, nuclear is a fallacy, both economically and environmentally, also from a democratic point of view, it, because it creates a, sh a, s a, a veil of secrecy over this whole industry. Um, that is very clearly shown in our court case against the uh, South African government for its failure to disclose the contents of a agreement with uh, Russia. Um, but whenever people are getting excited about uh, nuclear power stations, they kind of forget where the actual uranium comes from. And uranium mining is the dirty underbelly of this whole nuclear cycle. It's where it all starts. And if, as we believe, one must stop nuclear industries in its tracks because it leaves future generations which in, with an immeasurable uh, task and uh, legacy, the best point to start is actually at source where the whole cycle of nuclear technology begins and that is at uranium mining. And as I said, uranium mining is really the very much dirtiest part of the entire industry.